So, we've, ki we've killed all of them. We killed all our brethren in the order that we fought them in the first game. I guess it's also in the reverse order that they were raised, so... Who's left? Eh? Yeah, I remember. Wait, what do you remember, Shay? I forgot what I was- I forgot what I was saying. I've already forgotten what I was talking about. Are you talking about Tyrell? Were you there for Soul Reaver 1? Slurping sounds. <laughs> so, who's left, eh? <laughs> so, vampire, here we are. You've destroyed my brethren, and now you've come for me. You'll find I'm not such easy prey. I don't want to kill you, but I will if I must. Return the heart to me, and we can end this now. So... You've come to avenge that filthy parasite and reclaim his foul heart. You're a righteous fiend, aren't you? Apparently, I am. No, vampire. This is where it ends. But you won't be leaving this room. Now, let's finish this. I'll make it mercifully quick. As you did for Janos? <laughs> no, that beast had eluded us for far too long. It would have been a shame to end him too quickly. It's ironic, really. The great Janos Ordrin turned out to be no challenge at all. Thanks to you. Did you hear his cowardly screams when I tore that black heart out of his carcass? <sighs> Also, th th both Raziel sound exactly the same. Like, do n does the past one not like hear it? Eh, whatever. I wish he had his own unique weapon and not just the regular Seraphim sword. I mean, he's the strongest out of all of them. It should be like a unique weapon. <clears throat> also, I don't know what his ability would be in. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what his ability would be to make him unique. I guess he could be a normal soldier, like, just because he's me. Oh, well, generic soldier or not, you gotta admit this is fucking cool. It's, there's not even, like, a unique boss theme, it's just the, the combat music for this area. And yeah, Shay, I did spoil this for you, I'm sorry. To be fair, you weren't here for like the entire rest of the game. These blood slurps though. See, okay, I guess I can block now because Because the chip damage doesn't matter anymore. Because I'm invincible! Suze, goddammit, Shay. You can spoil me and. Uh, damn it, Wachi! Bad. Good thing Kiara's not here to hear this. Damn, Wachi control. Bad, Wachi. I'm, I'm happily taken. I wish Kiera was here. I'm sad now. Kiera, why? Shit! Die, me! Okay, I'm gonna move away to fix the camera. Okay. Yes, yes, I'm very happy for you both. Yay! Thanks, Waji. Okay, as long as you understand that, then make all the comments you want. Shit, just, just... just. Ugh. Come back to the center, you little shit. 
I've never I've never appreciated this stance before, just how he has his arms wide open. It's kinda cool. It's like sa kakate koyo. Mohitori no ore. I renounce you. So it ends. My history comes full circle. Sensing its twin, the wraith blade uncoiled itself from me, and instead wound lovingly around its former self. I felt its grip loosen, and as the blade left me, its absence chilled me more than its presence ever had. A foreboding sense of emptiness and loss stole over me, and a terrible revelation gathered like a storm at the edge of my awareness. With all other foes exhausted, the conjoined blades turned themselves on me, and I realized, finally, why I had sensed nothing when Janos offered me the blade. The Reaver was never forged to be a soul-stealing weapon. The ravenous, soul-devouring entity trapped in the blade was, and always had been, me. This is why the blade was destroyed when Cain tried to strike me down. The Reaver could not devour its own soul. The paradox shattered the blade. So, this was my terrible destiny. To play out this purgatorial cycle for all eternity. I could not bear it. Despair overwhelmed me. You. Are you enjoying this game? Oh. Don't fight it, Raziel. Give in to it. Was this your destiny for me all along? Trust me. I felt myself weakening, unable to hold on any longer. The Reaver was too strong, the compulsion to simply let go, too great. And then, a growing sense of vertigo and the familiar displacement. The paradoxical moment when my twinned soul hovered both outside and inside the Reaver Blade. This was the instant. The glimmer of temporal distortion Cain had been counting on all along. This was the edge of the coin. The minute flicker of probability upon which Cain had gambled everything. <laughs> Now you are free to reclaim your true destiny, Raziel. Behind Cain's eyes, I could see new memories blooming and dying as history labored to reshuffle itself around this monumental obstruction. And I could see by the dawning horror on his face that perhaps we had strained history too far this time. That by trying to alter my fate, he may have introduced a fatal paradox. My god. The Hilden. We walked right into their trap. Raziel. Janos must stay dead. But Cain's warning was lost as I slipped into the spirit realm, too weak to maintain my physical form. And there... Waiting for me, as always, was the Reaver, the Wraith Blade, my own soul, twinned and bound eternally to me. And I realized that I could never escape my terrible destiny. I had merely postponed it. History abhors a paradox. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh.
Ah, uh, I forgot it would do that. Um, yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. So while the credits are playing, let's discuss. So... <clears throat> oh dear, I can't even see the chat anymore. Um... How do I do this? Yeah, I can't see the chat while... while the resolution is like this, so... I'm gonna turn around and open up my laptop. This is the only time I'm gonna do this. So, let's just discuss the events of this game. So, that ending. Had Kane not been there, we would have simply been absorbed into the Reaver, and the whole cycle would have played out again. Blood Omen, the first game, all of it. So, but because when we met Kane in Williams Chapel, we were supposed to have killed him then, but we didn't. And that is what changed everything. Uh, waiting for the chat to load up. There we go. Okay, I can see the chat now. So, yes. Uh, so, yeah, because Kane was alive, he was. Because we didn't kill Kane, he was there to you know, pull the Reaver out of us. And that's what, that changed everything. But like, like he said, like Raziel said, we may have fucked up a bit too much. So. Also, I'm gonna just go to the Soul Reaver wiki and just see what all the cut content was for Soul Reaver 2. I did not have time to read this beforehand like I did with Soul Reaver 1. But. I'll just give it a quick look. And I'll read some of it. I do know that there were three other Reaver elements that in this game that we didn't get. The Water Reaver, the Earth Reaver, and the Spirit Reaver. So, that shite's all gone. Oh, there are meant to be female vampires in this game, but those weren't there. And a bunch of enemies, but we're not going to talk about that. Um... I don't think there are any cut story elements. There were cut locations. Let's just go to the cut abilities for a bit. You plunged a bit too much. I did. Okay, there were meant to be glyphs, but they're go they didn't put them in. Glyphs like in the first game. And they're, instead of elements, they're glyphs based on the pillars, so that's pretty cool. You know, there aren't any cut story elements, so I guess there's no need for me to read this. We are going to sit through the entire end credits, though. So, Smooth, what did you... I got Goldfish Crackers. Oh, awesome. Goldfish Crackers are always good. Smooth, what did you think of the voice acting? Was it not 10 out of 10? So 10 out of 10. good wasn't it though this is i've mentioned this before i think i mentioned this in soul reaver one as well but this is the game that got me to enjoy to appreciate good voice acting and good dialogue i'll admit the dialogue is a bit grandiose at times i mean, i say at times it's pretty grandiose but it's intentional and i love it okay Put the microphone back. And of course, the chair sinks. The voice acting was amazing. I understand why it elicited all the passion you have for it, right? Okay, let me put the mic back down and done. So that's that. We've got all the we've got all the cutscenes. I renounce you. 
sour fan Raziel. <laughs> I don't know why this is a script and not the cutscene, but that's fine, I guess. Sinky chair, yeah, it's it, the mechanism's busted. All right. So with that, we'll quit the game. And next week, we'll move on to, uh... What's it? Next week, we'll go back to Skyrim. And we'll probably do the main quest. But for now, because we have a lot of time left... It's only been an hour and 20 minutes. Shay, message me on Facebook your, uh... Your Blizzard account name, and I will add you. And we're gonna play the shit out of some Overwatch. Get your mic on because you I'm gonna voice chat with you and we are gonna fuck some shit up. This will be a s I'm gonna do what I did with Dishonored when I played Bleach and make that a separate video and I'm gonna cut that part out as a separate thing. So I will see you guys in a bit. Damn it, Shay! Yeah. So yeah, uh this is like, after the Overwatch bit, this is gonna be at the end of Soul Reaver, the Soul Reaver part, but... Yeah, like, two hours later. But yeah, that was fun. So, I'm gonna go to the thank you screen. And we'll hang out for a bit more. So, yeah. We got... That was fun. We, we finished the game. In all its awesomeness. And then we had, like, two and a bit hours of Overwatch after 45 minutes of technical difficulties. It was written in stone. Damn it, Shay. So yeah, I actually have to go now. I didn't mean for it to go on this long. But yeah, with that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like and leave a comment if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And maybe even consider supporting my Patreon. It's per month rather than per video. And every little bit helps. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!